Hi, it's me again, the preacher from the Philippines. And good morning to all of you, my dear viewers, subscribers. Well, uh, again, if this is your first time watching my videos, let me just introduce to you myself. I am Pastor Roland Perez. I am a senior pastor. I went to Bible college. I'm an ordained minister. I'm a evangelist. I am a teacher, crusader. And I have 36 years of experience in preaching and delivering the words of God. My dear viewers, subscribers, let me clarify one thing, okay? When I talk of atheists and believers, I do not only mean to you atheists who doesn't believe in God, who mock and blaspheme God, I also talk to all of you Muslims who doesn't like to acknowledge Jesus Christ as the only Son of God, the Creator, the Almighty God. I only also talk to you Mormons who invented so many and so many hellish and diabolical teaching. Also to you Roman Catholic Church. Also to you Buddhists who believe in reincarnation which is blasphemy. The Bible is very clear. It is appointed unto man who wants to die once only. And after this, the judgment I'm also talking to you Jehovah's Witnesses and also to you Oprah Winfrey down and condemned to hell also to you Tom Cruise Hare Krishna, Scientologist Seventh-day Adventist Spiritist, Church of Satan Missionary You see, it's like this my dear uh, viewers I am not preaching any religion I am not preaching any church. I deliver to you the message. I preach to you direct from the Bible. I preach to you the name of Jesus Christ. I am just a messenger. It is not my wish, it is not my intention that even one of you will end up in hell. It is not my desire any that that any will go and be born in hell but the big problem is like this especially you atheists you have so many excuses and alibis you see you cannot accept the truth you cannot bow down to this great God you will rather spend your eternity in hell rather than bow down to this great God. Your alibi, your excuse. How can you believe and worship something or someone who does not exist? Well, that is your problem. That is your problem. You see? That's why the title of my message Why All Atheists? All Mormons, all Muslims, all Roman Catholic Church, all Jehovah's Witnesses, all Hindus, all Buddhists, all who practices Islam, all Masonries, just of Satan, just of Oprah, Tom Cruise, are all damned, condemned to go to hell. You see, Instead of mocking and insulting me, blaspheming my videos, especially you, P Channel and uh, Winam666, YouTube blasphemer 84040. No, you must be very thankful to me. You must be very grateful that I delivered to you the message that I am giving you warning after warnings. So that before you die, before you will close your eyes permanently, you will be given a chance. To repent and acknowledge God. But no. You are so boastful and arrogant. That's why you are so full before God. You cannot accept the fact that you are full. For you I am a hateful preacher. Why would I hate you? I do not know any one of you. I never met even one of you. Why would I hate you? I'm just telling you the truth, the message. 
that there is hope. At least you are not hopeless case. There is still a hope. God can still forgive you. God can still give you uh, another chance. But no. You cannot accept the fact. Now, like, the question is, why do I keep on preaching the words of God? Why do I keep on giving you warning after warnings when you don't even uh, acknowledge when on the contrary you are so ungrateful and still I do it I still keep on preaching why one thing I am a preacher I am a man of God I am a messenger God, Jesus Christ is my Lord and my King. It is His commandment to preach and to give you warning. It is very clear. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18. If a wicked will die, if an atheist will die, if a Muslim, if a Muslim will die, if a Mormon will die, if a Roman Catholic Church will die, if a Hindus, Jehovah's Witnesses, Muslim will die. And you did not give him a warning. He will die. Yes. But his blood will I require in your hand. I do not God. I do not like that God will require your blood in my hands. Why don't you just open your eyes and realize the truth? Why can't you not be an ordinary person? Even just for one one hour two hours and realize that when you die what hope what salvation awaits for you but now you cannot do it because of your pride because of your arrogance because of your boastfulness your stubbornness and proudfulness that's why you are all damned and condemned to go to hell you see it's like this this is God's law we violated this law you see we are all sinners in the sight of God we are all dumb and condemned to go to hell all of us because of sin now the penalty of sin is eternal separation from God lake of fire forever and ever but God is so merciful God is so loving he doesn't like us to be to, to, to go to hell or to be burned into that lake of fire. That's what he made the way for us to be saved. But you don't like to open your eyes. What is that way? By sending his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross. Jesus Christ suffered the wars. But you cannot accept it. You are so ungrateful. That's why all of you are dumb and condemned to go to hell. I hope, I just pray, you, especially you, P Channel, you, Vietnam 666, you, Blasphemer 84040, you, Moose Piano, and all of you, atheists, blasphemers, and mockers of God. I'm just praying that one of you will be saved. That one of you, that your eyes, that you will open your eyes before it will be too late. But instead of giving attention, giving consideration for this very, very important matter, no. You would rather insult and blaspheme God and insult me too. That's why you are all dumb and condemned to go to hell. You cannot accept the fact. I just delivered to you the message. The message of hope. This is God's law. We violated the law of God. So therefore we are worthy to die. We are worthy to go to hell. But God made a way. God sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever will believe in Him will not perish, but will have eternal life. I hope before you die, you will come to realize 
that God is coming soon. 